Hey folks, Robert here with more rigor training, and this is going to be in precast. So in this exercise, we're going to place a precast uh, roof or like a podium. Well, yeah, and we'll have openings. So what we need to do first of all is go here. I got this level here I created for this. This and uh, right now the first thing I want to do here, I want to go and do a beam system. So I'll go to the structure tab. And I'm doing a beam system here, and it's going to be uh, this one I'm going to sketch. And I'm going to place it in here at elevation 9 inches. Well, let's say 8 and 3. Let's say, yeah, let's go at 9 inches. Well, I'll put it like this. Let's just go 8 and a half. Well, we'll stick with 9. I'm sorry. <laughs> so the first thing you want to do, you want to go to our shape command, and I want to place a point right about there and I'm going to go all the way over here because I want my plank to rest on top of these walls so it can bear somewhere so I'm going to go press that there and we need to select our span direction and we'll go in that direction and I think everything is good there and then we'll go finish so there's our first set of planks here uh, it looks like it is resting on the side so we're all good so let's go and continue with this. We'll adjust this other stuff later. So I'm going to do the same thing here for this, this row. I'm going to go with structure, beam system, and I want to sketch. And I'm going to sketch from here. Same as over here, basically. Grab this point, and I'll go to there. And then we got the same height. We'll select our beam direction. And then we'll finish. Okay, so there's our next set. We have to make some adjustments, but like I told you before, it's always good to do this after the beam system is complete. So here, we're just going to do a regular uh, automatic one here. Shouldn't be straight and forth. Uh, nine inch, okay. And we'll select it. And that's that one. So this one, okay, now we make sure we get all the heights in order. We've got everything in, and we're okay with the height. Now, what we can also do, I'm going to just shut these off for now. I'm going to hide them. A little temporary height category here. Okay. I can't do that right now. Okay. So, let me select. Okay. Okay, now we got that hidden. So now we can go in and do some things uh, for our our for our plank. So I gave I left it a, a, a inch, but we're going to go here and we're going to go into our properties or into I. I'm going to load these families that I have in here. Old project I did. Place a component, and here we're going to go and get a bearing pad here. We're going to take these guys, we're going to place them on the work plane, oh, we're going to place them on the face. Oh, sorry, wrong family. Cancel that. I don't want to do that one yet. Okay, we're going to go here. That's my bearing strip. Component. I'm going to properties here. Bearing strip. That's the one I want. And we'll just take these guys. Rotate and place them along here. And go into that other level. Well, I can't because it's turned on. So I'm going to just go here and get the idea. I don't want to have to copy all these. Uh, let's see. Or maybe I can do this right quick. Yeah, okay. Mill off. We do actually good. We got this view on. So I'm going to. Select these two. I'm going to move them in because they need to rest under the plank. We're right about there. And I'll copy these guys throughout. Copy, constrain, multiple. And we'll just go, could have done an array here or something. And I'm going to go here. 
We'll just do this one side. You guys can do the rest. Go to here. Just take this guy all the way down. Actually, these are these can stretch, but they sell them this way, I think. So there's our bang strip, bang pad, and y'all leave it there. So now what we can do, we can go back into our actually let's go and mirror these guys over if I can. So I'm gonna right kick. Select all instance. And I'm gonna try if I can see if I can mirror these guys off of this plank here. It might work. That's my center point. Okay, so that's how we would do our bearing strips for our plank. And we go back into our 3D view. So that side is there. Now this will continue on all the way through because that plank's plank's gonna bear there. So now let's go back and um, bring our plank back. Okay, so now I think I'm happy with this, so I can start dropping these uh, beam systems so we can go ahead and fix this stuff because, um, see, where's that center point? Okay, there it is right there. So now we want to drop these beam systems. And now this one is removed. All oh, this plank looks good. I'm going to just grab these all. Um, let's see if I can grab these like this. And I'm going to move them over. Actually, what we can do here, let's just cut this one now. So we got this brain system. Let's drop it. Actually, let's move it if we got, since we got it all. Let's just move this over. I mean, you smut, do as much as you can with the beam system together because, as you can see, I'm doing, I'm just taking everything at once. So this can also move a little bit. So you guys get the idea. So I'm going to move on from this and show you how we will do our openings. So now I'm going to just drop these. Let's remove it. And we'll remove this. So now we can make these adjustments here. Um, these all can move because this is here. So let's just select these guys and we'll control select these. And we'll move these here just to this portion right there. Actually, might move back a little bit. So what happens here, we've got to do some things to get this distance here. Uh, we may need to well, we, we're good. We're bearing here, so we can do this. We just move this over slightly just to get that covering there. But as you can see, we've got to do something here. So I'm going to copy this. I'm going to copy one of these guys here. I'm going to reduce this down to a, because I can do this, thank goodness. Um, this is a four foot now. Let's make it a two foot. That's about as short as we can cut these. Uh, then we're going to move this over to here. So that's pretty good. Actually, then we can go and move them again just to get them in, in you know. So basically, that's how you would do the, uh, the plank on this roof we got here. So now let's do some opening. So I'm going to go back to this level where I'm using here. And I'm going to go and I'm going to just say, I'm going to do a cut by face. And let's say we want an opening right in this area. So I'm just going to go here and I'm going to take shape and I'm going to cut it right there. And finish it. Okay, so there's my opening. So now what's going to happen in here, of course, we're going to need some type of support because this, this, we lost the support here. So what we do there is we go in here and I got another component. I place this component and this is what we call a... S-P-E-H. And so I'm going to place that right here. And then we're going to play with it. <laughs> okay, because actually this would be better in our 3D view. So let's go to our 3D view. 
And let's take that family and just drop it right in here. I think this will work this way. So there it is. Yep. And it should sit right there. So now it's in there, but we need to go into another view to get it all in order. See, we want to take this guy and just shift it over. Uh oh, sorry. So basically what happens is the plank is basically supported. Yes, see what happens? So that's how that family would work. And so then you would need another one here. I know I did this before and I didn't show you how to support the opening, sorry. And I'm gonna go ahead to level four. Again, I'll just select this guy and I can mirror it across. Uh, I'll do a line, a detail line first to make sure I get it right. So I go annotate, uh, detail line, I want a line from here to here. And I want to mirror this from this point to there. Okay, guys, so there you go. That's how you would do your openings and your precast and how you would do a regular precast uh, podium or a rope. So, hey, guys, thank you for watching. Please subscribe to my video. It helps me do these every day. And I hope this helped you guys out. Uh, more pre a lot of precast questions, and I like it. It gives me something to do. Thanks again. Bye. See you in the next video.